Hey guys, it's Cassie here. Thanks for clicking on my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I could always use subscribers. So today I will be reviewing my Influencer box. If you don't know what Influencer is, it is a word of mouth marketing website where based on surveys and things that you like and input, they will send you box boxes of things to try. So the one that I have in my lap is actually the pep box box which was just for college students and this is what the box looks like and as you can see on the front there just the speech bubbles and that's what it's called and then on the back it says influencer and then the side says review and then the front says discover and then this side says share all right so while i have received everything that is in this box for free it is all in exchange for my honest, unbiased review. So inside of the box, I have a 7th Heaven Tea Tree Peel-Off Mask. Some Shine Nail Polishes. This one is in the color Good Glistener. And then this is just the Lock It Down Top Coat. And then I received the Max Factor X Masterpiece High Volume and Definition Mascara. The Max Factor X Masterpiece High Precision Liquid Eyeliner in the color velvet black then i received some silicone cleaning facial wipes and then i received three k pots one was kawaii coffee garden Isles medium roast the chock full of nuts midtown manhattan premium roast and the hill bros 100 percent colombian medium roast and yeah, I believe that's everything that I received in here. So, the first product that I will be doing is the 7th Heaven Tea Tree Pill-Off Mask. Right. And so the first thing you're supposed to do is rinse off your face. And I actually just did that before I started this video. So now it's the time for me to apply it to my face. Alright, so guys, this is actually a cream product and it just smells really good it smells kind of like lemony or minty depending on what part you're smelling Ooh, and it's green and cold So this is actually a lighter green than what I thought it would be based on the packaging because on the packaging is actually like a really light green color. This is of course basically like see-through and I thought it would be more opaque. It is like incredibly pinky smelling. And then you're supposed to make sure that it's all over your face. And then you have to let it sit for 20 to 25 minutes. So while this is sitting, I will actually go over the rest of the products. So this will be the last thing that I give my full review on more than likely. Be warned, this is really strong and starting to make my eyes tingle a bit. Just be warned. So just let me go and set the timer for that while I make sure this is fully coating my skin because I'm obviously doing this without a mirror today. <laughs> Alright, so guys, I am back now. At the moment, I am going to go over the coffee k pot. The first one that I will be going over is... Can I remember which one I did first? 
is the first one that I did was actually the Kauai Coffee Garden Isles Medium Roast, I believe. English meal on this. Alright, so all I've added into this coffee, as you can see, no creamer, it's just two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, so while it is somewhat good, it's just like a really strong kind of burnt taste to it. So I'm, I'm like, it's okay, but it's not something that I would honestly purchase on an everyday basis. All right, then the next one I will be trying is the Hills Bro one, which again, all I added to it was just two tablespoons of sugar. This one I feel is a lot better than the Kawhi coffee one. It's actually more of a more subtle coffee taste to it and not as burnt. This is one that I would drink every day and I would purchase this on an everyday basis. Alright, so guys, I'm going to be honest with you. While these are K-Cups, I did not <laughs> make them in the K-Cup coffee maker. I just used them in a normal coffee machine. Okay, so the one that is in the coffee machine now is the chock full of nuts coffee. So I'm actually going to go pour that up in a cup now and I'll be right back. All right, so all I'm going to do is just pour some of it in here. I have noticed that while using a K-cup, all you can get out of it is just actually one cup of coffee but you, doing it in an actual coffee maker, you can get up to four actual cups of coffee. So again, I'm just adding exactly two tablespoons of sugar. And I'm just gonna stir that up. All right, I'm going back to my spot. So this one smells exactly the same as the other two did. So clearly I left that one too long because this is extremely hot now. So it's burning my tongue. But it is actually an extremely nice flavor. I would buy it, but not as much as I would buy the um Hillsborough coffee. But this is one I would buy maybe on like special occasions. I feel like it'd be really good with like a um, pumpkin spice creamer. So it'd be good for like winter time. Now, moving on. The next thing that I will be showing you is the Pure Ice Shine Nail Polishes. So again, this is the color Good Glistener. And I'm just going to Put it on my nails now to show you guys what it looks like. Excuse me. So this is what it looks like with one full complete coat. And then as soon as that dries, I will be going over it with the lock it down top coat. So while that is drying, I'm actually going to show you guys two of my favorite products ever since I received it. This is something that, I, while I don't use it daily, it is something that once I get the money, I will be buying to use daily. So again, this one is the Max Factor X Masterpiece High Precision Liquid Eyeliner. And it is a really easy to use. It is a paddle tip so of course it's broad at this side but once you turn it it is extremely thin and easy to use when you're doing sharp lines so this is what it looks like when you use the broad tip and then this is what it looks like when you use 
the side. So I ended up turning it without meaning to. So there we go. This is a really great product when you want to do the cat eye. So I'm like, I seriously love this product. I use this for my Halloween book actually. And then this is the mascara that I will actually be putting on my eyelashes since I don't know what else to sample this out on. So just bear with me. And what I really love about this mascara is the fact that when I put it on it, of course, makes my eyelashes look a lot darker, but it also is great for, I feel like, just making your eyelashes look longer. And then I've noticed since I've started wearing this that it actually um makes my eyelashes grow out longer because my eyelashes used to be a lot shorter than this and thankfully they have started growing out since I've started using it. And this is actually a great product to wear during the day. It does not wear off as fast as other mascaras do. And then so the well and since I don't feel like walking around today just with one eye with mascara I'm going to do the other eye real quick. And I'm like what I love about this mascara is the fact that at the top it is actually a lot better and easier to use on your bottom lashes than a normal full mascara one except for I never do my bottom lashes simply because of the fact that they're like really short and hard for me to do. Alright, so Alright, here is that. Now since this no polish is now dry. I am going to go over it with the top coat. And I use this top coat with more than just this nail polish. I actually use it with every time I do my nails. So with different nail polishes. And I've learned that this one I feel, so it's not for everybody, but that it is actually better at keeping my nails nice and fresh looking. And it's better at keeping the nail polish from chipping. And so, that is that. And now, I'm going to show you guys the Simple Cleansing Facial Wipes removing the eyeliner. So, the eyeliner is completely dry and of course, they like it. it is not smudging at all. So, this will act, this I've worn all day long and it is great. The only time that I've been able to get it off is with the facial wipe so it's not going to come off if you sweat this is great and then so if you have a facial wipes it comes off pretty easy there's no struggle at all this is these wipes are also great for removing see it's well it's still there a little but for the most part, it is fun. And these are also great for removing the mascara. So, so, <laughs> so you guys can show that it actually sets up the mascara. I'm going to fold this and use a part that is completely white so that you do not see, so that you can see that it's not just what I took off with the eyeliner. And that is it taking off the mascara. Now, I will actually be applying the mascara back later simply because I love wearing mascara. And so, I will be applying that back later. And the only thing that is left to be reviewed now is the tea tree mask, which actually still has about 15 minutes left to sit and dry on my face. So, I will probably just be adding this in later. Since this video took a lot less time than what I thought it would be. So, guys, that was my influencer box box.
I absolutely positively love everything that was in this box except for like I said that um kawaii coffee because simply that's just not something that I would buy but everything in this box is something that I simply would buy again all right so guys thanks for watching please subscribe and always comment what you think and I could use some tips to make my YouTube videos better but anyways next time goodbye